Well, I truly hope that you enjoyed this series. I've had so much fun making these videos for you guys. I hope you can tell how passionate I am about going zero waste. And I hope that I've sparked something within you that maybe has piqued your interest in sustainability. Anyways, we're going to wrap it up. I'm going to talk about some sustainable zero waste practices for your day-to-day -day routine and lifestyle. And then I'm going to let you guys go. Have a beautiful end to your Earth Day and a beautiful night. All right, the first thing I want to talk about is reusable shopping bags. This is so simple, but for some reason, I still see people opting for paper and plastic bags at the grocery store, at Target, at Trader Joe's, and it makes me crazy. Now, right now, I know you can't really bring your shopping bags into grocery stores because of sanitation reasons. However, that is not an excuse to accept a paper or plastic bag. My role model, Katherine Kellogg at Going Zero Waste, has taught that what you can do instead is simply have your bagger reload the groceries or the products back into your shopping cart as is with no bags and then you take your cart to your car and load your products into your shopping bags in your trunk. This is a way that you can avoid the plastic bags, the paper bags, Altogether, we don't need any more single-use plastic or unnecessary packaging and materials in our world and in our landfills. So guys, just be a little bit smarter and now you have the tips. So there's no reason to not make these swaps. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about and I kind of touched on it earlier this week is packing your reusable items before you leave the house. So as you're walking out the house, I just want you to think about what, are, what am I doing today? Where am I going today? Am I possibly gonna need a coffee mug? Am I maybe gonna need my Tupperware? Am I going to get food from a restaurant that maybe I can have them put it in my own Tupperware? Um, how about utensils? How about a handkerchief if I have the sniffles? Like, are there any items that you can grab? And obviously your reusable shopping bags as well, but are there any items that you can remind yourself to quickly grab before you leave the house? So even if you have like i have a little magnetic notepad on my refrigerator where before i leave the house i look at it and i'm like okay reusable water bottle reusable coffee mug utensil set i actually bring my own like lunch box when i go places because i put my my clean tupperware just in case i grab something to eat so like what items can i grab and quickly throw in my bag so that i can ensure that when i'm out and about in the world going about my day i'm making sustainable choices and that i'm not compromising on my lifestyle okay the next thing that i want to talk about is driving your car so especially in LA and in today's society, we just grab in the car, I mean, hop in the car and, and whether we're going to like grab something or run an errand, we hop in the car and we go like five minutes. Is this a walkable distance? Do you have a bike? Could you maybe carpool with somebody instead of two of you driving there together separately? So just these conscious shifts in thinking and planning your day and planning your route, I want you to try to start to think about these things. Not only is it better for the environment, but it's better for you and your body and your energy. Just start walking some places, get active, and um, make a more sustainable shift in your life in terms of transportation. Okay, the other thing that I wanna talk about is something that is kind of fun and I think a lot of people are starting to do this right now in quarantine, but can you create your own garden in your yard? By doing this, you can start to grow your own fruits, vegetables, seeds, plants, herbs, all of these fun, amazing things you can implement into your meal plan and stop having to even go to the grocery store for these things. That is an amazing shift towards a more sustainable household. And also 
if you have a compost bin, you can start using your own compost as soil. And so it's just this beautiful cycle of renewable and reusable, sustainable practices and processes in your household. So I would love to see some more home gardens out there. And then the last thing I want to talk about, something that I am just absolutely obsessed with, is picking up trash. So when you are out in the world and you see a piece of trash, please do not walk past it. It's so easy to go, well, that's not mine. But this is what I want to leave you with. How you do anything is how you do everything. So from the littlest thing, like picking up a paper bag or a newspaper or a straw, that translates into your mentality, that translates into your vibration, into your karma, into your aura, and into how you present yourself to the world and how you contribute to the world as well. So pick up some trash today. Go for a walk, get out there on one of your daily walks while we're in this quarantine and look for trash. Take a bag and, and fill it up. Walk around your neighborhood and pick up some trash. I hope you guys had an amazing Earth Day. I hope you've loved this series. I would love to know your feedback and I would love to hear from all of you. Happy Earth Day.